Hi friends, today I am here to let you know about how to go about to do your residential interiors. This is the biggest dilemma when a person wants to make his dream home come true. How to go about it? First thing for anyone is to fix his budget, his interior style. Nowadays, you have more than three to four options from which you will have to choose from whom you will have to get your interiors done. One is online platforms with tech people who are aggregated platforms for designers as well as for contractors. This aggregated platform generally do interior decoration rather than designing and executing. The second option is going to a seasoned interior designer who himself is an interior designer and gets work done through contractors and keeps an eye on estimate material helps is along with you in the whole process and the contractor is third party. The contractor may be his men, his people or source of material from which shop you have to take the material could be his people or maybe from your side that is client side. The fourth option is a turnkey interior designer who provides you with designing, estimates and lock and key complete piece of solutions that is turnkey interior designer. With all these four, still we are left with one dilemma, how to go about reading the estimates which we get from all the uh, contractors, local contractors, online platform as well as seasoned interior designers or branded interior designers. The best part how you can compare is prepare an excel sheet, get all the materials in one line whatever you want that materials I mean by requirements say go room wise I'll give an example as you can see in this excel sheet which you can prepare on top you write down the firm's name say x one firm name which is online other an interior designer other you could be an uh, get a local contractor so these are the three names and the way you compare is you write room that is say living room then you write your requirements so sofa set dining table tv unit etc then you go for bedroom bedroom you get wardrobe bed uh, study table etc till end you go for each and every requiremental item you will get uh, you re remove the area what they have to told you and make the comparison by putting the costing of each item which each person has given you. After you have done this excel sheet complete comparison you will get totals. Do not give work on only totals. Decision is to be made item wise. Few people maybe the 14 lakh or the 13 lakh 50,000 person would cost you at the end maybe 16 or 18 lakhs local contractor can go till double the estimate say 20 lakhs the best way how to freeze the estimate is you leave no ambiguity in that estimate that is you should have complete specifications of each and every item asked from each and every vendor each and every person you bring you understand first of all what interiors you want or what kind of durability you are looking for or what is your budget according to that you make each and every agency coat with the same raw material same finishing material so that all are on same plane do not leave any ambiguity i'll give you an example in electrification Few people say lump sum 1.5 lakhs, lump sum 1 lakhs 50,000. In that later, a local contractor could say that you would have to buy wire, you would have to buy lights, maybe you would have to buy other uh, gadgets, maybe uh, switch modules and everything. 
सो गेट कंप्लीट स्पेसिफिकेशन के लाइट्स आर इंक्लूडेड योर वायर्स आर इंक्लूडेड योर स्विच मॉड्यूल इज इंक्लूडेड विच ब्रांड इट इज इंक्लूडेड गेट एंटायर स्पेसिफिकेशन फॉर एंटायर थिंग Do not proceed until you get specifications for even concealed work such as electrical wires, plumbing work, plumbing fixtures and sanitary fixtures. Similarly, this ambiguity could be kept in painting work. People write uh, ki we some local contractor I have met had written in specification the color would be royal. but he did not mean they it is asian paint royal colors he meant it would look given royal look and with that he used very local color brand and that made entire interiors go in a negative uh, way and it did not look as per the budget was spent moreover you can make sure at end of the uh, estimate to compel every interior designer contractor online firm to make an contract in that contract you could specify that you will not spend even 50 paisa more than what is written in budget you as client should give your money timely and ask the contractors designers or online platforms to deliver their promises also timely because time is also an essence which makes loss in your budget because you uh, incur more rental you incur your uh, further plans are disturbed as interior prolongs so kindly cooperate with these platforms kindly do selections kindly follow their processes but also demand your work at time also pay at time do not pay more than what is decided for estimate on contract unless and until it is mutually decided by yourself as well as your designer or contractor and mutually known that this point we are exceeding by area or specification there are only two ways you can exceed your budget that is with area exceeding the area specification or increasing an entire item new item say sofa you had not considered now you are considering sofa that is uh, you had thought of sofa but now you want an recliner sofa that is changing specification so these only should cost deviation in budget if there are any hidden items in that total estimate you should tell contractor i will not pay that extra item say if contractor says that i am going to uh, do tiling and he does not mention plaster and he charges you that bill you should not pay that bill unless and until he has written for that plaster because the process is known to each and every one even the local contractor that plaster has to be done before tiling so everything should be mentioned he cannot charge you ki i had done waterproofing letter i had done this letter if he had not mentioned that in estimate he will have to do it as part of process you cannot write each and everything ki main fevicol lagaunga uske upar main laminate bhi chipkaunga so if that is necessary to do that work it has to be done moreover take guarantee warranty on material whichever it they are specified mind you you will have to ask for at least 6 to 7 years warranty and at least one year replacement warranty by everyone without even compromising in labor so my friends try and be aware before giving out your interior works try and compare as i explained in that excel sheet all the estimates try and sign the document which is important for you as well as them so that uh, you are on same page take weekly or uh, reports in 15 days communicate with your uh, interior contractor designer or any firm who is trying to do interiors and uh, take continuous feedbacks go follow their process keep faith in them give them money timely and expect work also timely for more such videos 
प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब बिलो